Hey, what's up? Jigsaw here. When it comes to connecting your iPhone to your computer, using a USB cable is guaranteed to be more stable. This is also true if you want to control your iPhone functions directly from your computer screen. In this video, I will show you the easiest way to do this on your computer. Let's go! If you need more features to screencast or control your iPhone from your computer, I personally recommend the third-party software iMyPhone Mirror 2, which is the best tool I've tried so far. Mirror 2 is an all-in-one software that includes functions such as screen mirroring for both iOS and Android devices, real-time streaming with audio, and controlling your mobile apps directly from your PC. It is available for both Windows and Mac. For your reference, click on the tag in the top right corner or find the link below to download the tool for free. Although Mirror 2 is generally a paid software, there is a free trial version so you can get a feel for how it works before paying a fee. Later, I will also indicate which features are free, restricted, or available only to premium users. After downloading, run the executable file and follow the on-screen instructions to install it on your computer. For first-time setup, change key configurations to maximize both the audio and video quality of your mirrored screen. Click the three-dot menu on the left sidebar, select Setup and go to General Settings. This is where you'll notice the limitations of the free trial. For instance, you can't remove the watermark, capture audio input, or select the highest video quality available, which is 1080 pixel resolution. However, you are free to change the recording format and destination folder regardless of your subscription status. Any changes you make in the general settings are automatically saved so you can simply return to the main dashboard to start using the program. To get started, select the iOS phone system in the dashboard. You can then choose either Wi-Fi or USB mode for your preferred connection. If you prefer a more stable connection that does not depend on your internet speed, you can switch to USB mode. Then, connect your iPhone to your computer using an original or an MFI certified cable. On your iPhone, click the Trust button and enter your device passcode to confirm the connection. The trust process between your devices is required every time you connect your phone in USB mode. Initially, you may be prompted to install necessary drivers, so simply follow the on-screen instructions to do so. Once connected, your iPhone screen should automatically be mirrored in the program's dashboard. After mirroring, you can click the Pin button in the toolbar above to keep the window on top of the other open screens on your computer. You can view it in full screen as well. Mirror 2 also automatically adapts to the orientation of the app you have accessed on your iPhone. For instance, if you open an app that's horizontally oriented, such as gaming apps like PUBG, you'll see that the software's screen adapts to its layout as well. Mirror 2 can also connect and screencast multiple devices. Another useful feature of Mirror 2 is the mouse control function, which allows you to navigate your iPhone screen from your computer. Please note that this feature is only available to premium subscribers. Before you try this, you must first pair your iPhone with your computer. Of course, make sure Bluetooth is already activated on both devices. Open your iPhone, open Settings and go to Bluetooth. Then choose your computer from the list of devices and tap the Pair button. While on your desktop, click the pairing alert in the notification bar and confirm the connection. After pairing, open the control center on your iPhone and lock the portrait orientation as required by the software. When everything is set up, click the mouse control button in the sidebar. Once enabled, you can use your mouse pointer to access anything on your iPhone screen and use your computer keyboard to type or enter commands on your device. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.